So hi, this is uh, Drew Thomason from uh, Dell EMC. I'm going to take you through my multi-SRM setup. Um, this video is in a companion to my blog post uh, about using multiple SRM uh, protection and recovery sites uh, with single vCenters. So here's my vCenter for the protection site, dot .13. If you read through the blog, you'll be able to tell the environment or, or follow along. So I'm going to go into the uh, site recovery here and, and let's just go through the general setup that I've done. So as I showed you in the blog, we have the four different SRM sites set up. Now 2013 and 2014, those are the initial SRM configuration. So that's what you would normally have in, in a two site configuration. And 215 and, and 216, or I should say 2015, 2016, those two are the extra SRM. So let's take a look at the protection site for the primary SRM environment. So here you can see our site names 2013-2014. Okay. Our RSM servers here, right? Same IPs, same environment. So both 2013-2014, they have all the software on them. SRM um, vCenters, SRDF, uh, SRA Solutions Enabler. So uh, if we go out to the, excuse me, we go to the monitor, we can see we have our, our SRA here installed and ready. If I come out to my related objects, you can see this is my array based uh, replication pair. So I have one here, and the way I've labeled them is to point out the local array. So for 2013, again, if you look at the blog and the table, 497 is a local array. If I came over to 2014, its local array is 498. Okay, So 497 and 498 have synchronous replication between them. Okay, Now if I go, uh, I'll come back here to 2013, I'll click on the array-based replication just so we can look at the uh, pairs. So out here, now I have two different pairs here. This pair is the one that will actually be used with the other SRM site, 497 and, and 230. But this is the pair that's enabled for this one, which is um, for synchronous. If I scroll down on the bottom here, we'll look at the two data stores which are being replicated. Okay, this multi-sync DS1, DS2. Um, you can see I already have a protection group set up and I have um, a local consistency group which I mentioned that you want to set up for all of these um, uh, for all these solutions enabler environments. If I come out to 2013, so here's my my vCenter. I thought I would just show you the data stores. So here's the four data stores. We have two synchronous, we have two asynchronous, okay? Different sizes just so I could um, di differentiate them for my own purpose. And here I have my resource pools. And I'm, again, I mentioned in the blog post, I set up a different resource pool for each one, async with two VMs in it, sync with two VMs in that one. Now the customer, as I was talking about, basically what they did is they created multiple clusters within the data center, and each cluster had different ESXi hosts and then had different uh, data stores and virtual machines in them. Essentially, I'm doing the same thing here, just at the resource pool level. I, I don't really have enough servers to get into multiple clusters, but but the point of the configuration was to show you could have these multi-level um, configurations within the vCenter and then have a, a single setup in order to execute the recovery plans. So let me go back from our array pair here, come back to our sites. Um, and we'll take a look at our protection group. So our protection group consists of the two data stores and the two virtual machines. Right. So um, if I look at my virtual machines, I have the two synchronous VMs here, which are inside of those uh, two data stores. Again, very simple setup. Um, not, nothing complicated about this. Okay, and 
that's pretty much the setup here for the um, for the first vCenter uh, for the first SRM setup. Now let's go look at the the other setup, which is 2015 and 2016. Now here we come down and we look at the site. Notice here the vCenters are the same 2013 2014. I'm only using a single vCenter on each site, but I'm using multiple SRMs. And again, uh, if you wanted to use a different configuration, I had another picture in the blog where I was showing um, uh, two vCenters on one site with a single vCenter on the other site, what VMware calls a shared recovery. Um, there's lots of different deployments they offer. You can go look in the documentation. Uh, this is just one that the customer was doing, so I thought I would do the same thing. Notice here our SRM servers, um, 1.5 and 1.6. Okay. So these two SRM servers are paired together in the same vCenter. So if we do, we'll do what we did uh, for the other ones. We'll come look at the SRA here. You can see it's installed. And if I look at the related objects under my array-based replication, 230 is my local array for 2015. And here I have the one pair enabled, and here's my replication setup. So for the asynchronous environment. And similarly, I have a protection group set up here, and the protection group is comprised of the two virtual machines in the two data stores. Okay. Uh, one thing I didn't show you in the um, 2013, we'll jump back to that one just for consistency, is um, when we look at our our mappings here under the manage. So here's where we set up all the mappings. Again, there's there's nothing different here in terms of the um, uh, multiple SRMs with a single vCenter. You still have to set all this stuff up. Where we see um, a distinction between our two SRM servers, 2013 and 2015, is underneath our resource mappings. So if I look at my resource mappings for 2013, I only set up a resource mapping underneath the cluster for the resource pool, sync SRM, right? Because that's the only one I need, because I only want those virtual machines in there. And VMware doesn't have to do a lot of work if I tell it, hey, I just want you to look at this one. You don't have to go look at anything else. If we look at the two, uh, 2015 here and look at its resource mapping, same idea, right? Just the async. Now, the customer has this similar configuration, except here they're going to have just their clusters. Um, if you only put your clusters in there instead of uh, just putting, like, a lot of customers will just, you know, select at the highest level of the data center and, hey, just go create all the resource mappings. If you tell it just to do at the cluster level, it only has to scan that at the cluster level. It doesn't have to do any uh, uh, looking at the other parts of uh, the vCenter. For the the customer I was working with, it makes a lot of sense because they have lots and lots of uh, ESXi hosts and they only want them to look at a couple of them because they're only using a few of them in each of these configs. And if it has to look and scan through all these different hosts in the vCenter that they're not using, it just adds time. And um, time is, is their big issue because they want to consolidate and, and have this thing uh, easier to use and faster. Okay, so we looked at our uh, protection groups. Um, we looked at, if we want, we can come out and look at the recovery plans. The recovery plans are just mirrors of the protection group, right? I've done nothing with them. I'm not starting up the virtual machines when I run these. Um, we're just leaving everything, you know, basic. We're going to create the test network. We're going to mount the data stores uh, with the snap prefix default. I'm not changing that. Um, so pretty simple. And the idea here is that you know we're going to run these things um, concurrently. So what I've done is I've gone into, I'm going to switch over here to the um, recovery site for the first SRM setup right here. And you can see I've created the uh, config XML file pair here. So I'm going to use snap VX with a no copy. And, and here's my two pairs, you know, very straightforward. As I mentioned, I didn't use the SRDF adapter utilities. 
you could use them. Um, again, you're going to have to make sure that you handle each site separately. So you'd have to put the SMIS in for each of the um, uh, uh, protection and, uh, and recovery sites for the first SRM pair, and then you'd have to do it for the second SRM pair, and then copy the file over, over here to this directory. So that's the setup for the um, first protection SRM site, uh, and this is the second SRM site. Same setup, snap VX, no copy. Okay, so straightforward. And what I'm going to do is I've got m m another SRM set up. This is the, well, another browser open, I should say, just so I can execute these things at the same time as much as I can. So here we have sync here, we have async here. So I'm going to execute this. And we'll come over here, we'll execute this, see how close we can get them. So next, and finish that, and next, and finish that. So you can see these plans are going to run. We're going to create our uh, writable snapshot with no copy, which is instantaneous. And most of the time spent in running these plans is going to be going through and doing the VMware stuff. So here, let's open this. So this is, uh, again, this is the data, uh, the vCenter for the recovery site 14. And we can see it running through all the typical VMware uh, tasks it has to in order to bring up these two different machines. So here we go. You can see our, our data stores are coming up, are renamed. So async looks like it's, uh, it's won the battle first. So we go back, see where we are. So this one's sync, and this one's async. All right. And if we went through here, I, I guess I could do this quickly. So if I came out here, and oops, let me get this in your purview. Uh, now VX list. There. So if I wanted to run the snap VX command, if I wanted to look at them, so you can see, here's my 6B6C, which is, which one? No, this one. Which is this 14, and then 16, we'd look for the other two pairs, um, which would be up here, 6263. Okay, oh, success, 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 success. So you can see uh, they both went through pretty fast. Uh, parallelizing them, right? So there's no conflict here. I didn't have to wait for one to complete for the other one to do. Um, certainly, you know, the tasks get executed in here in, in whatever order they come in from um, uh, from SRM to the vCenter. But I have all my data stores mounted, and then, you know, here's all my individual virtual machines, two for async and two for sync. And that's it. That's the that's the setup. Um, so thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and and I hope it was helpful. And and give it a try. It's um, it's pretty easy to set up, and you know it, it may prove beneficial to your environment.